In Eminenti, Papal Bull Dealing with the Condemnation of the Stonecutters, of Pope Clement XII, promulgated 1738. Clement, Bishop, Servant of the Servants of God, to all the faithful, salutation and apostolic benediction. Since the divine clemency has placed us, whose merits are not equal to the task, in the high watchtower of the apostolate, with the duty of pastoral care confided to us, we have turned our attention, as far as it has been granted us from on high, with unceasing care to those things through which the integrity of orthodox religion is kept from errors and vices, by preventing their entry, and by which the dangers of disturbance in the most troubled times are repelled from the whole Catholic world. Now it has come to our ears, and common gossip has made clear, that certain societies, companies, assemblies, meetings, congregations, or conventicles called in the popular tongue Liberi Mururorti or Francs Maçons, or by other names according to the various languages, are spreading far and wide, and daily growing in strength, and many of any religion or sect satisfied with the appearance of natural probity are joined together, according to their laws and the statutes laid down for them, by a strict and unbreakable bond which obliges them, both by an oath upon the Holy Bible and by a host of grievous punishment, to an inviolable silence about all that they do in secret together. But it is in the nature of crime to betray itself and to show itself by its attendant clamor. Thus, these aforesaid societies, or conventicles, have caused in the minds of the faithful the greatest suspicion, and all prudent and upright men have passed the same judgment on them as being depraved and perverted. For if they were not doing evil, they would not have so great a hatred of the light. Indeed, this rumor has grown to such proportions that in several countries these societies have been forbidden by the civil authorities as being against the public security, and for some time past have appeared to be prudently eliminated. Therefore, bearing in mind the great harm which is often caused by such societies or conventicles, not only to the peace of the temporal state, but also to the well-being of souls, and realizing that they do not hold by their civil or canonical sanctions, and since we are taught by the divine word that it is the part of the faithful servant and the master of the Lord's household to watch day and night lest such men as these break into households like thieves and like foxes seek to destroy the vineyard. In fact, to prevent the hearts of the simple being perverted and the innocent secretly wounded by their arrows and to block that broad road which could be opened to the uncorrected commission of sin and for the other just and reasonable motives known to us, we therefore having taken counsel of some of our venerable brothers among the cardinals of the Holy Roman Church and also of our own accord and with certain knowledge and mature deliberations, with the plenitude of the apostolic power, do hereby determine and have decreed that these same societies, companies, assemblies, meetings, congregations, or conventicles of Liberi Muratori or Francs Maçons, or what other of their name they go by, are to be condemned and prohibited, and by our present constitution, valid forever, we do condemn and prohibit them. Wherefore, we command most strictly and in virtue of holy obedience, all the faithful of whatever state, grade, condition, order, dignity, or preeminence, whether clerical or lay, secular or regular, even those who are entitled to specific and individual mention, that none, under any pretext or for any reason, shall dare or presume to enter, propagate, or support these aforesaid societies of liberi moratori or frocks maçons, or however else they are called, or to receive them in their houses or dwellings, or to hide them, be enrolled among them, join to them, be present with them, give power or permission to them to meet elsewhere, to help them in any way, to give them in any advice, encouragement, or support either openly or in secret, directly or indirectly, on their own or through others. Nor are they to urge others or tell them, incite or persuade them to be enrolled in such societies or to be counted among their number, or to be present or to assist them in any way, 
but they must stay completely clear of such societies, companies, assemblies, meetings, congregations, or conventicles, under pain of excommunication for all the above-mentioned people, which is incurred by the very deed without any declaration being required, and from which no one can obtain the benefit of absolution other than at the hour of death, except through ourselves or the Roman pontiff of the time. Moreover, we desire and command that both bishops and prelates and other local ordinaries, as well as inquisitors for heresy, shall investigate and proceed against transgressors of whatever state, grade, condition, order, dignity, or preeminence they may be, and they are to pursue and punish them with condign penalties as being most suspect of heresy. To each and all of these we give and grant the free faculty of calling upon the aid of the secular arm, should the need arise, for investigating and proceeding against those same transgressors, and for pursuing and punishing them with condign penalties. Given at Rome, at St. Mary Major, in the year 1738 of our Lord, Pope Clement the Twelfth.